Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. And I tell Brush. I'm Nick. And today we're going to be watching Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. It is a very uplifting and um, angelic tale, as is clear by the title. Um, PG, of course. Um, no, it's it's definitely dark. I've seen this movie. None of you guys have seen it, right? It's a you, musical. I didn't know you've seen this movie. Yes, yes. I when did movie. you watch this without me, dude? When did, I thought we all, none of us had seen no, this. No, I've seen okay. this movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I've seen this movie. It's got Johnny Depp. Uh, it's got uh, it's just a bunch of other people. Great cast. Um, I'm excited. It's part of our musical train. Obviously, um, next week, we're going to be watching whatever you guys voted for right up here. And that is going to be up on Patreon as well as the full-length reaction of this one. Um, which is, is going to be kind of worth it because I probably have to cut out a lot of the songs due to the copyright hell that is YouTube. So forgive me. And yeah, um, do, you, do either of you guys know anything about this this like movie play? It's based off a play, obviously. I know some of the songs from The Office <laughs> when they perform it, right? Isn't that the play they do? Okay. Okay, so, so yeah. I know a little, I think I know the rough outline of the concept, like okay. who Johnny Depp is. Yeah, so it's it's a based off a musical, if I didn't say that before. It's based off a Broadway musical, and it's, uh, what's his name? Tim Burton. Oh, that's right. So you're going to get some, I, I don't know if you've experienced any Tim Burton stuff, but you're going to get some very weird, he's a very interesting director. Kind of like Wes Anderson had a goth phase. It's, that's like Tim Burton. I, I like that description. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I know. Yeah, Tim Burton. Um, he's done like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, no, he actually did do Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you for joining us. Patreon subscribers, all you guys, you're the best. Let's get into this. So, wait, is this like a musical? Yes. So, like, is it on a stage or is it like a movie? No, it's a musical movie, but it's based off a stage play. Oh, okay. I've never watched anything like this then. <laughs> I like the organ music already. Does this have any Phantom of the Opera vibes at all, or is it very different? I think it has Phantom vibes. Okay. I mean, he has a pretty white face, doesn't he? I've seen the poster. <laughs> I have no it's idea with the what the makeup that and means. stuff. Phantom of the Opera. Oh, wait to watch Phantom oh, of the you Opera. Oh, because you don't. Yeah. yeah, you guys have to watch Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I love those profile. Uh, those are cool. And Helen Bottom Carter's in it. Love her. The lady who plays. Uh... Alan oh, Rickman right. is in this? Alan Rickman is wait. in this. Wait. Okay, do we have a whole all star Harry Potter? Yes, we do. I'm enjoying the visuals. I'm just trying to make out if it means anything. <laughs> trying to keep things in mind. Possibly. <laughs> Almost little Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Sh showing up out of Almost the mist. London, right? You got the bridge. You know Johnny Depp, right? Yeah. Okay. I recognize him from the uh, I mean, Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. Launch. Okay. Oh yeah. I like the hair. <laughs> I like the whole aesthetic of this movie. It's very interesting. I like how dark and dirty everything feels and like looks. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I like it. It's just the griminess of a city. Yeah. Like industrial grime. What is he? What, what's this crime? Is this gonna be like a Count of Monte Cristo story? Like something, a little bit. He's definitely a different man. Now he looks so different. Isn't this awesome? I love this speeding camera through the city. This is the uh, the place that we entered in from the beginning. Yes. 
Okay. Uh, I wonder why there's no people coming yeah. in. Yeah. Oh You're gonna need more than a drop for that. This is five stars on Yelp. I see this on Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Yes, good customer service. I mean, I appreciate her honesty about how terrible everything is here. Years ago, something happened up there. Something not very nice. There was a barber and his wife. Yeah, because he went to the shop like he knew where it, where it was. Yeah. A proper artist with a knife. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Oh, Shash, did she recognize it? She must have. Fifteen years. Sweaty and living now on a false charge. That man is dead. I wonder if the daughter it's knows, like, what now. happened, or if Sweet she's job. just being raised in ignorance. We'll see. It's been fifteen years, right? Uh, she's got to be sixteen or seventeen. Or yeah. Whatever. Okay, I am hoping for some hardcore revenge right now. That's, that's where I'm at with the setup. It kind of... It, it kind of does feel like uh, the Count of Monte Cristo, but doesn't it, it seem? Does. I mean, a little you're, right now, that's the vibe I'm getting. In the cave of the guide, I just sold it. I did. I think her character is very interesting, right? Like she was just an onlooker, but she like decided to do something, which is very odd. Yeah. Johnny Depp is such perfect casting. Well, I hope they team up, because I think she's, uh... I mean, she's helping him. I just don't know how much he cares about her. She's giving me, uh, Misa vibes, I'm not gonna lie. For... Like she was always infatuated with him. That's just so cool. Oh, that's a badass moment. Okay, who's gonna be the first victim? I know, I know, someone's getting the getting cut up here. <laughs> well, who else is to blame besides the judge, right? And every is, person in that party that room deserves true. to be that's killed. True. Could this be? This could be the kid. Right? I think this Possibly. has gotta be. Don't get involved in this mess. <laughs> It's already too late, man. I feel like you, it's not gonna, you don't want to be near this whole situation. I was gonna say. Yeah. It's like, why would you need to hide it? That's... Right? That's so weird. Yeah, this dude's in the middle of it already. Yeah. He's in. There's no way. So don't you go to his policy there. Who's a good wicking for you? Or any other young man? Mind. Come on, dude. He's got to go back to Sweeney Todd. And they got to work together. Great. What? what? Yeah, watch out, uh, dude. That's okay. a suspicious. Come on, dude. Morning signs. What's he going to do, though? He's just going to, like... Yes, sir. The Bountiful out of Plymouth. A sailor must know the ways of the... What do you like to see? I think there's been some mistake. Yeah, you're in a pervert's uh, house right yeah. now. Yeah. Like... Mark me. If I see your face again on this street, you'll rule the day you were born. Jeez. Hey. So if you didn't think he was evil till now, he's evil. Yeah. 
This is the time to team up with Johnny and yeah. start planning some killings, I think. He's not gonna give up. No, but it's gonna be like eight mile for barbers. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a live face off. Go! <laughs> I wonder if anyone else is gonna recognize Sweeney like she did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they're selling hair loss products way back in the day. My elixir is this. Who says this? I'll wager that I can shave a cheek with ten times more dexterity than any street mountebank will reveal yourself as a sham. <laughs> you hear this foolish man? Now please, you will see how you will uh, regret the years of the <laughs> Don't be! Mr. Or Beetle Bamford be the judge. Glad, as always, to oblige my friends and neighbors. How do you judge the winner, exactly? Like, who uh, doesn't cut the guy while shaving him? I who goes faster? He's got the Italian flag. The fastest, smoothest oh, okay. shave is the winner! Oh! <laughs> the kid's oh, got the dude, face yeah. cause he always cuts Oh my it. gosh! Jeez! I would not want to be this guy in the chair right now. He's not even started yet. It's all a... <laughs> no Are you story. kidding me? That works too. That was so fast. Holy How many what? swipes is that? Like four super quick swipes? Yeah, he's not messing around. Alright, add him to the kill list, yeah. please. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a paragon of integrity. Well, I'm trying to do my best, my friends and neighbors. You should surely see me there before the week is out. You will be welcome, Beetle Bamford. Jeez, dude. It's like, <laughs> you guys think Snape is bad. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my gosh, bro. He's back already? Holy dude, so are you kidding me? Don't look out the window. Yeah. You're not even wearing like a hat or something yes. as a disguise. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This kid needs to be way it's more discreet. It's so sketchy. Too. What are you doing? Now, obviously, I don't think she knows about the, no, the people. The people, but like, still. You can't blame him. But I do think it's he needs to play it smart because he's just there's just the two of them. He's playing yeah. it smart. He just he's obsessed about it, right? Yep. He's, his focus is nothing else. Still, you got to take your time because the dude's got power. Yeah. Mr. Todd, there's a girl who needs my help. Just sad girl and lonely but beautiful too. Yes. 
Yes. I'm sorry. The connection. Oh, this is very romantic. Yeah. Click. I don't know anyone in London, you see. I wonder if they can draw the judge out by having him mm. escape with the girl and then lead them into a trap. See if he can get away with it. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. It's a sketchy plan, yeah, that's true because right? he knows it's yeah, coming he knows too. too. But it would be perfect bait if they can just get here. The food is so disgusting. I'm sorry. I think this boy would rather starve. Was he gonna do shave his mustache? Or? Mr. Tobe, allow me five quid back if you don't mind. Why? Because you entered into our little wager as a false pretense, my friend. So that you might remember to be a bit more forthright in the future, Mr. Benjamin Barker. Oh, so he did recognize him. Well, he found out about him. Nice to tell the truth, awful <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it looked like he was wearing a wig, but I thought that was just the movie. Yeah. In the day when I could be a pop bomb myself, you might say that he was inspiration to me. What do you say to that now? Mr. Sweeney <laughs> Dog. Jeez. No, no, no. Uh, you just beat him to death with a pot? I thought he was gonna like, maybe use his blades. That's vicious. Oh god! He's got an appointment with his trailer! And he's late, you're playing me! Uh, stay downstairs. Great. Right. No. He just lets him go? What are you Why doing? Are you Is he twitching like as a dead body or is he yeah, still alive? He's a dead body. Okay. Jeez. Well, now he's dead. Yeah. I therefore sentence you to hang by the neck until you're dead. Sure. And may the Lord That's have mercy on your soul. It's what? <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Um, excuse me? Maybe because you're like a grandpa and a pervert. Yes. And her dad. Yeah. Stubble, you say. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> It should be how Gillette runs his next campaign. You're walking mad. Killing a man will done you no harm. Why smell one not? So um we're gonna take out the pool with him. She's gonna come right, right now. Right. He's got a First, you gotta change, like. Yeah, oh, yeah, he needs to change his shirt. Something. Dude. Oh my gosh. Touch, touch. He's like, ah, oh, good point. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Is he gonna kill him right here? I mean, what about his assistant? Why not? He's gotta tell him before he cuts his throat who he is. Oh. I don't think a movie has ever made me so nervous during a shave. Dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh my gosh. There is indeed a higher power to warn 
It's all too clear that Captain, you keep the service and well hold no, their no, custom no, no. you'll have none of mine. Mr. Todd, you have to help me. Mr. Todd. Are you serious? Mr. Todd! Out! When was your place? You told me to wait. Now you'll never come again. If we Awesome shot. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> the boy's gonna realize eventually, though, when yeah, what's but his I don't know how much he cares. Up. He might not yeah. care, but yeah. I think he's gonna know something. Yeah, probably. Happened. Just keep giving him drin. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, he's just a drunk kid. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Seems a downright shame. Shame. Seems an Oh my gosh, I knew <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Are you the beginning? Well, also, she's the only one holding him back, so, like, he's not gonna stop her from this idea. Oh my god. It's probably gonna taste better, too. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Charming notions. This is what makes him excited about her. It's like Bonnie and Clyde here. <laughs> They're talking so casually. Like, I know. Oh, okay, who are we gonna go with? Yes, yeah, sir. Serving everyone takes a whole new meaning. Mm. Nice. That was a very quick leap for both of them. Like, all they needed was a little bit like, is this a good idea? Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Let's I feel go. like it wasn't a leap for him at all. Sir, Dude, you should have hid your bag or something. Come on. Indeed he does, but I see no lady. We shall provide you with new lodgings. Until this moment, I have spared the world. <laughs> Why are you? Oh my gosh, why are you? Is he designing like a trap chair? Like a saw something. design or something? Uh, something. He could just be modifying his barber chair. I mean, oh yeah, that's probably what it, he's just like. This needs a little redecorating here. He's got a crazy good voice. With your low hair. Yes. I thought he was gonna shave him a little no. first. <laughs> Straight to him. Remember the, the opening credits at all? That's efficient use of the body. I like how he tells himself he's doing this for Joanna, though. These are random strangers, yes. okay? Well, this lady's not wrong. Yeah. Uh -uh. Why do you even put out the shaving cream? Like, why bother? You gotta go I know. The <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just a waste of shaving cream. Exactly. I think he should at least do them the courtesy of giving a shave before killing <laughs> them, so they can go to the afterlife like looking fresh. Come on. Of course, no one's gonna listen to her. Yeah, They're just gonna think she's crazy. Oh yes, delicious meat pies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he get guy. to go away? Yeah. Because he has a family. Oh, oh, because, okay, okay. I thought for some reason he was like imagining his own family or something. But that poor old guy probably was a grandfather. Yeah. He's like, oh. I feel bad for this kid. <laughs> does he have any idea, you think, of no, what's going on? No, he gets caught in the middle so. of everything. Like, does he eat the pies too? They're like, here, go on your break. <laughs> 50% off! Oh my gosh, that's sad. Gin and human, that makes for a good, happy work environment. Is the first sunny scene in the whole movie? Besides the flashbacks. 
Yeah. yeah. And what did I just say? There must be a way to the church. We've got a nice, respectable business now. Money comes uh. <laughs> Yes, respectable business. <laughs> Murdering Jesus. people and eating them. In a year or so, don't you want to know? Of course. Do you really want to know? No. Yes, I do. <laughs> I feel like it's a Joker Harley relationship. Like, yeah, I feel like he's kind of using her, but he doesn't care. Yeah. But what's in her baking? I wouldn't trust anything she makes after this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dang. That's, what is it's this? like the Santa Monica Pier, but Victorian. Yeah. It's I kind of like her dream. It look, it's so stylish. Yeah. Like how they've like, basically adopted that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was gonna kill that kid, right? Yeah, like when he yeah. first was saying to bring him up. <laughs> he just nods. Uh. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The way they film it is really cool. Folks Asylum. I've circled the place a dozen times. There's no way in. It's a fortress. Oh God. Give them all free shaves. Mr. Todd. <laughs> or oh act insane yourself or something? I don't know. Where do you suppose all the wig makers are act. to obtain their hair? Bedlam. Let's think about uh, oh, the kid. from the lunatics of bed that will gain you access. And then you take her. Go. Quickly. Go. No one's gonna recognize him? Hmm. Well, the guy doesn't run the asylum, the judge. Oh, okay, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. He just locked her there. Yeah. What? He's telling him. Yeah. He's telling the judge. Why the heck is he doing that? To get in his favor. You have to deliver the letter. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Maybe the kid it's will so read the letter up. and not deliver it. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> like, this movie has such style to it. It really does. I think Tim Burton is a perfect choice for this type yes. of a story. Kid doesn't like. It. That's nice. Did he see something? He might have read the letter. What is all this? But either way, I feel like what he doesn't know that about? she's like part of the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It just stinks. That's the in your Pirelli Spurs. Oh, no. oh, it's not. Oh, it's what? Like that proves it. We gotta go, mom. We gotta find the beetle and get the law again. He's still, dude. It's it's oh, her. He's thinking that it's just it's just sweeney. Something better not happen to this kid. I'm interested because Sweeney was willing to kill him, but she wasn't. She wasn't. At yeah, first. she wasn't. But if it threatens, no, they better not do that. Why did Why did Sweeney kill first? Because he was threatened. I mean, yeah. But she cared for the kid. Mind if I have a pie while I wait? As many as you like, sir. I'm never eating meat again. <laughs> Hamburgers, barbecues? No, I'm good. Excuse me, sir. Get me fright. Not my intention, good madam. I assure you. He probably gets that a lot. Though I am here. <laughs> in official business. Every you time see, someone opens the door, yes. I see him. some complaints. Dare I offer you something a tad more appropriate for a gentleman of your standing? The ladies will greatly appreciate it, sir. Well, you are the expert in these matters. <laughs> and take well, just like that. And he's Come done. on upstairs. This is the only person that has deserved it this entire movie. I know. I've been waiting for him and the judge. But is the boy going to see... Ew. Oh, what? What is this? Tooth or something? 
Ew. Oh my gosh. How did that get through? Come on. Yeah, dude, dude. come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, that's the dude. Go to the no, sewer. No, no, no. Don't be banging on the door because now you're no letting them know. So creepy, dude. <laughs> Todd, you wait from here. Don't we'll return with the coach in less than half an hour. Anymore. Wait, but the, didn't the judge know? So I'm why isn't he? Yeah, anybody. unless Toby We're didn't safe. do it. That's true. Or something. Oh, right? yeah, why was he sus about it? I'll be right back to you. Half an hour, and we'll be free. Something tells me it's not going to be happy for any of the characters. She accidentally reclines. It's possible. It falls <laughs> back and dies. Are you in this oh. Maybe he did it just to get him in. Your lesson was well learned. She'll be here soon, you said? Yes. Excellent, my friend. Okay, don't make the same mistake. Kill him quickly. How about a shave? <coughs> oh no, dude. The daughter's gonna warn him and that's how he's gonna get away. Just watch. Oh my gosh, true. Why though? I mean, because she doesn't know, like she... <laughs> she he sent her to an asylum. That's true, I hope not. Okay. Look, I'm hoping not. Nah, but that's because he just, she probably just saw that. Oh. It's like a Tarantino it. kill. Yeah. Finally. Is it? <laughs> God. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. This is probably his wife. Look at the lady. What? No. No, it is not. No. Jesus. You can't be serious. Are you kidding me? I was only thinking of you. Are you? No. What? Oh, that's such technicality bullshit. She's going. She's going. She's going. A foolish barber and his wife. She was his reason and his life. And he's he gonna try to kill him. She's loving, right? I did not see that twist coming at all. That, wow. Like I said, not the happiest of musicals. No. no. Definitely one of the darker things we've covered. That yeah. was, jeez. I mean, I really like the twist. I, I was like so it, surprised. Like, I like that it's like tragic. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> what you guys think? I think the music's really cool. 
I really like the way they do the music. Yeah. The music was interesting. Um, and it's dark, but I think it's understandably dark. Oh, yeah, I mean, it definitely isn't your story about a hero. I think a lot of the characters, obviously. No, I think it's a tragedy. Are pretty, yeah. pretty evil. evil. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It but, was really dark, but it didn't. I liked how it didn't feel heavy. Like I didn't, because it was pretty. Like the stuff was going on was really dark, but it yeah. felt. God, I don't know how. Like the way Tim Burton did it, it didn't feel like heavy. Like oh my gosh, this is so messed up. Even yeah. the blood. Maybe it's just because the blood's dated, but it also didn't feel as real. Like I feel yeah. like if he had tried to make it more real, I would have been like a lot more. It would have been yeah, like disturbing film. to a point I wouldn't want to watch. But like it, it was, but it didn't look really as real, and so then I was kind of like, okay. Yeah, I mean, it had that sort of like theatric side of it yeah almost, yeah know? really theatric adding the side of the like the singing and stuff and you know i feel like a lot of the stylistic choices i feel like it turns it more from like reality to something more of like a play yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. yeah so of course if they made it so it was like almost you know like like if it was we real just watched, it would be like uh, super dark the schindler's list or something like that <laughs> like some sort of <laughs> document like, yeah, yeah. i would have been like okay <laughs> wow yeah, yeah. but Oh, it was cool. That's dark. I mean, he almost kills his kid. Yeah. I right, like, think mean, about that for a second. Like he stared his kid in the face and almost killed. I mean, killed his him. revenge was so clearly a you know an impure mission. You know, I was all on his side when he's first coming back to London. Like, okay, what happened? Your family is horrible. I want to see all those people die. You yeah. know, even though it might not be the total moral thing. You know, yeah. I'm along the ride for the of revenge course, yeah. story. Yeah. But the second you start going to the streets and like, okay, everybody. And the fact that, like, Mrs. Lovett lies to him just to, like... That, I mean, that twist, like, that... Like, I was enjoying the movie up to that point, and then I... I you guys... You noticed what was going on. I was like, what the heck? You guys... What is yeah. it? What? what? I was worried you were going to suss it out. I was Because she looks like her. If you look I did, at her face... Yeah. Oh, did you see it coming? Like, halfway through the story, I was thinking, like, wait. Oh, my could you look at her? If you look at her, she looks like the lady. And they even had the line of, of her saying, like, would you even recognize her face if you saw her? Like, would you remember That's what she true. looked like? Like, yeah. setting, like they showed you all the signs. And she's clearly uh, crazy, right? I mean, yes. Mrs. Lovett's eating people. Like, she's not a stable human being. No. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just like. That's it why it really is. The boy is, like, the only pure kid in the story. Well, and like the, the boy and the sailor and the daughter. And the daughter. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. I mean, heck, and probably half the people he killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of the people are just like, oh, yeah, here. That dude, like, thank God, he was like, honey, do you want to come out with me to get a shave? Oh. Yeah, that one Yeah, that one guy brought his family. Like, from now on, I guess if I ever go to a barbershop, it's like, my kids are there, my wife, we all love each other, we're good. No ground okay? beef, no barbershops, ever, for the rest of my life. Uh, at the very end, did you guys think that he knew the kid was behind him and lifted his neck? Like, there, it, yeah. To me, okay, okay. I, think, I, think I thought so. that he knew and he was like, okay, just kill me. That's what I take it as because he yeah. did and he kind of did deserve it. Like, as yeah. an audience, you know he deserves it. Like, yeah. he yes. killed all these innocent people and it's it's tragic and part of it's because Mrs. Lovett lied to him but not all of it's because Mrs. Lovett lied to him. No, he so went it to is. a dark like, space. like, he knows yeah. that he deserves it. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, I mean, he was probably going to off himself anyways to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Like, at that point. But it's just, interesting. I really like the way they blend. I mean, I don't know how much of it we can keep in the YouTube edit, but I, I really like the way they blend the different songs and the different themes together. Like some of those like montages where they're all singing together and it's just like this whole blend and like the poor sailor dude's just like in love with this girl. It's like literally his only motive. Yes. Just all of it. It's really Star cool. through the window. All mm -hmm. the love he needed. Um, I like the, the, I mean, from the opening theme, like there's this feeling of suspense and something horrible going to happen. And I feel like that it doesn't, like, horrible stuff happens the whole movie, but the end is when the worst, like, and then it just, I like how there was, I thought there was going to be an after scene with the daughter, but I like how the final shot is just, he sits there, that's the result of his revenge, and then it yeah. just ends. I really like they just like ended the movie well. there. Yeah, I do too. I think it's really powerful. Yeah, I mean, because it went from, you know, revenge to basically, like, self-serving like just straight murder yeah, yes. anger or yeah exactly yeah, it was just he's like, taking out his vengeance because he second guesses himself for a second he's like maybe i shouldn't and then he's like screw it you know what i mean which is interesting I and mean, the fact that he was going to kill the kid and then the innocent people it's like oh my goodness dude yeah. that's kind of and if he and this is the way I'd, what's so tragic to me if he had just actually had a logical revenge he never would have killed his own wife like yeah. if he had just been like okay it's not morally right necessarily but just go i'm gonna kill every single person responsible for ruining my life 
he went to, it was only because he was on this crazy yeah it wasn't know, revenge at that point but no. I feel like it's you see it in the beginning right where he has that like line where he's like oh there's a hole in the world and whatever yes. like like but he starts like that like it's not even yeah. like he changed it which is interesting because I think that is the underlying issue it's like because of all these horrible things that happened to him that's his view on everything yeah. on the world and I it's, like that yeah. and I like how they use that like musical trope to like go back to all the time where he is it's like the world's a horrible place like the world's a horrible place and this young guy's like oh beautiful London he's like London's a horrible place like all of it yeah. I like that it was a cool like musically I think they do a good job of it and I think as far as musical movies I think the directing works really well with the songs like he does a good job of making it just so it's not people singing on screen like there's visuals and ideas and the way he combines it together is like very artistic yeah he did do a really good job because I feel job like the, the thing about that all a lot of musicals is just like oh now they're breaking into song and it's like okay it's fine and they're singing on screen and then it's back to the regular screen but I, I really appreciate when you you play with the fourth element that you have when you're making a movie that you don't have on stage, which is the camera. Yeah. Like when you play with that and use it in the the work of the musical, I think it's cool. I think it results in a really cool movie. Yeah, so a dark movie. <laughs> Alan Rickman was good. Like everybody was good. Everybody. For such a likable actor, he was so like, oh, yeah. like so nasty to watch. He did a really good job. I thought Johnny Depp was great. I thought the singing was great. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Johnny Depp is awesome. As like a that sort of. I don't know that weird villain side. Sort yeah. of thing. he plays that really well. He's like singing to his his razors as his children. Like yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, that's just so creepy. Yeah, it's cool. It's really well done. Yeah, I was really impressed. Yeah, it was a lot better than I thought. Yeah. So uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. The full length reaction is going to be up on Patreon. Next week's reaction, which is going to be this, is going to be up on Patreon. You guys get to decide it from the polls. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We will see you all in the next video.